Hello again. Welcome back to the Kay Burley Show, live from Westminster, getting chillier all the time. The Prime Minister's brother, Joe Johnson, chilly in the Johnson household. He's announced his resignation as a minister and an MP, saying the tension between family loyalty and the national interest was unresolvable. Another blow for the Prime Minister, who will again ask MPs to agree to a general election next week before Parliament is suspended. If he fails, there will not be an election before the Brexit deadline on the 31st of October. Joined by the co-founder of Our Future, Our Choice, Femi Olawala, and also the director of Leavers of Britain, Lucy Harris. Hello. I'm freezing. Look at you. It's always amazing. I'm very impressed by your constitution. <laughs> I feel like I've dressed completely appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we think? I think that we're heading in the right direction because ultimately 54% of voters vote for parties whose manifestos ruled out no deal. So you've got a prime minister that's trying to force through a no deal. It's only right that they stop him. No, we have uh, squatters of democracy in Parliament currently. They are upholding seats that should be represented by the general public. There should be leave voting uh, MPs in those seats that represent the general public. And quite frankly, it's a shambles. Okay, well, let's put it, let's put it this way. Uh, four questions. You can put it any way <laughs> you like, Femi, but as you can see, the majority of those parliamentary MPs do not represent the general public. Okay. Go for it. Four questions. If we left the EU with the terms that we just negotiated, would most Brexit voters be happy? What we want to see is yeah. what we were promised. And if you can't get a deal, yes no. no, it's not a yes or no question. If you can't get, if you can't get a deal, then it has to go to WTO terms like David Cameron promised we have in the a first deal. place. We have a deal. We didn't have a deal that got voted down again and again yeah, and again. As, and, and they just voted against no deal. So again, if we left, if we left the EU, but it, with at, the terms no, the, have been negotiated, the issue is here, Femi, Would most Brexit voters be happy? Femi, the issue is here is that if you vote down no deal, then you're basically removing the table from the discussion. Can you, can you just there answer the question, no, please? But there's no question to answer. What I'm telling you. I'm asking you, would most Brexit voters be happy with the deal which is negotiated? What Brexit voters will be happy with, as a Brexit voter, yep. as somebody who is a leader, I would be happy to see a deal that represents what this country has voted for, which, which is either a free trade deal You're not or a no my deal. I don't have to answer your question. Fem. Okay, so. Let's no, just, but you did say you would answer your questions, <laughs> to be fair. Go on then, shoot, Femi. Okay. Shoot. Would most Brexit voters be happy with a deal that Nigel Farage says is the worst deal in history, Jacob Rees Mogg says makes us a slave state, Boris Johnson says is economic vassalage? Would most Brexit voters be happy with that? <laughs> no, deal? absolutely not. There we go. Second thing, does that not mean that there are versions of Brexit which, which, do, which do not have a majority support? I mean, there's no versions of Brexit currently that have any majority of support. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Excellent, right? excellent. So, what's Excellent. your plan to deliver so, on Brexit? So, gi how, what, given that the only opportunity we've had mm -hmm. as a country to yeah. say what sort of Brexit we would mm -hmm. or would not accept okay. was the 2017 general election, mm -hmm. how many, what percentage of voters voted for parties whose manifestos mm -hmm. ruled out a no-deal Brexit? Well, what we're looking at now is a new general election that will actually give what we want I'm, to I'm, see. Could what, you answer my question? What, it, what we need to see is a new general election. Could you election. answer my question? Can you answer me a question? Should uh, we uh, have uh, a general this election? Is, this is what we'll do, guys. You can ask two more questions. <laughs> if you answer that last yeah. one, and then you can hit, hit him back with four okay, more. Okay. <laughs> Why don't I go first? <laughs> as, as, as I'm a lady. Still Ladies talking. first. He's still talking. Go on. So how, so your question three was? What percentage of voters vote for parties whose manifestos ruled out a no-deal Brexit? There wasn't, that wasn't on the table. In 2017, 54% of voters chose parties whose manifestos ruled out no yep. deal Brexit. So does that not mean that if there are versions of Brexit that are unacceptable to the British people and 54% chose parties whose manifestos ruled out a no deal people, Brexit, does that not mean... 52% of people voted, voted for a Brexit, that would mean either no deal or it would mean WTO as I just, as I just That's what they voted for. I just explained. 54% uh, chose parties... Don't patronise me, Femi. And that's very patronising. You're, 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 you're correcting actual facts. These aren't... 50, 54% well, okay, okay, voted for so parties whose manifestos ruled out my, no deal. And the final question Femi, is, if the majority... No, no, you've had four. Femi, now it's my turn. Okay. Do you think we should have uh, uh, a new general election? I don't think it solves anything, so no. You don't think it solves anything. We have a parliament currently that cannot move anywhere. Mm -hmm. We cannot pass anything through because nobody has a majority. MPs don't even have uh, reflect their own, their own constituencies. Don't you feel it's time that we flushed out those MPs that don't represent their constituencies and have somebody new in there that genuinely re represents the general public of this country? Do you so, think so? Again, like I said, the, vast, the, 50, the majority voted for parties whose manifestos ruled out no deal. So the fact that they're blocking so the no deal... So let's see what they think now. So the fact that the, Shall we not? So the, the fact that a majority of um, uh, parliamentarians ruled out no deal and a majority of the public ruled out no deal via their votes, mm -hmm. that we have a parliament that, that, is, a that, that is matching people. That seems complicated, doesn't it? That seems really complicated, a bit Most convoluted, people don't want right? no deal. Most of the parliament don't want no deal. See, that's for not example, true, though. I mean, that's your opinion. That's well, your reading. Uh, like I just said, 54% 
voted mm -hmm. for parties yeah, whose sure. manifestos okay. ruled out no mm -hmm. deal. That means the only instruction that, that seems Parliament really, has had... That seems I mean, round that, about that, the houses. We're like splitting it? hairs a little do, bit. Does it? Yeah, I mean, let's make this really easy. Okay, so, let's make this really easy and have a new general election. Let's well, do that, no, no. why not? The most simple way to find out what people want to do with Brexit is mm -hmm. a referendum on the Brexit deal. That is the only way we solve this. No, I think... a general election could yeah. be. It, well, it wouldn't be, because again, like with 2017, you'll have people saying that it's on, like, well, well I mentioned you'd argue that people say it's on austerity or other issues. The most important thing here is, in well, 2000... the parties to clarify. I mean, Labour could say we are a party uh, of uh, wanting to remain, and the Tories would say we're a party of wanting to leave. And then, and then we'd have a situation where the Brexit party would split the vote with the Conservatives, Lib Dems... Not necessarily, not the necessarily. Brexit party. Uh, well, and, and, and the Lib Dems and, and Labour would, would again split each other's votes. There's no guarantee. Again, not necessarily. Well, speaking as a well, Brexit it, it, party it, it, well, MEP, I can absolutely say that we would make uh, a pact with the Tory party yes. so that we would leave their seats alone okay. in the South. And the Lib Dems so, have said they might the do the same So what, what happened in 2016 was a majority voted for parties whose manifesto has ruled, ruled out no deal, yet we got a majority of seats in there for parties that were pro... No, uh, well, Potentially, potentially in favour of no deal. So that's what happens with the general election. The only way you ensure mm -hmm. that what happens in the country reflects what the people actually vote for is a referendum. In 2016, we voted for Brexit, which can be anything from no deal, right the way through up to Theresa May's deal, Norway-style deal, Canada bus. You've all heard the types of Brexit that we could actually do. The only opportunity we've had to actually say what sort of Brexit we want is that election where we well, ruled let's out have no another deal. one then, so we can so, actually so, see so what given we want. That we've a general election that we've done for hundreds and hundreds of years in this country. Let's actually see what we want. Let's have a general election which is the only way we can finally I, decide what this country wants. A referendum on Brexit is the most precise way oh of finding my, oh out what people want what to do, do we, with Brexit. What, we do, what do we normally do in this country? We don't have referendums every single day, and I'm sure you would love that. But right now, we normally have it, it general is, elections every four do, years, and we should have one. We need do, to have... Do you not think it's weird? Five. Do you not think it's weird that you're pushing for the third general election in the space of four years, and we've only had one opportunity on Brexit, where no detail was on the table? We finally negotiated Brexit. Do you not Brexit, think it's weird that you've been wanting to oust Boris Johnson with a general election and suddenly you don't want one because it's not in your favour? I've been calling for a favor? referendum. I've been calling for a referendum since this. Oh, since, right. since, so, since, since, so since you the think a referendum would oust Boris Johnson? My aim is, it, the, the aim here is to solve this Brexit this issue. This seems really confused for me. I'm really sorry. Okay, this seems okay. like really round about the houses. Then, then let me make it simple. Okay, in, please in, do. In, in 2016, we voted for mm -hmm. Brexit. Brexit was four words. Mm -hmm. Leave the European Union. Uh -huh. We've now negotiated a deal that means we leave the European Union. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. And not, okay, not in terms this again, of, this again, of, this of, again. Okay, as a so, Brexit person uh, uh, who's voted uh, for Brexit, uh, I decide 50. what that means. Uh, <laughs> no, the actual paper, the ballot paper decides uh -huh. what that means. Well, an let's article, have one then, an article the general 50, election. An article, 50, article 50 says that if, upon the uh, entry into force of the mm -hmm. withdrawal agreement, the treaties of the EU no longer apply to the member states in question, right. which means that if we leave on those terms, we have left the EU. But, but most, as you said, most Brexit voters do not like that version of Brexit. Mm -hmm. So given that we've now negotiated the version of Brexit, we ha it's now, instead of four words, it's now 585 yeah, that was, page that treaty. That was Theresa May's version of Brexit. There are many different forms of Brexit, as you said. That's the point. And the ultimate that, one, and that, and the, that, ultimate the, one the ultimate one is a, a no deal situation. That's, that is the ultimate one. You cannot as, remove that because you, then we have no just, negotiating debate. As you just explained, if there are many versions of Brexit, some of which many Brexit voters do not like, the only logical not, thing is that there ones. is no it's majority for any Brexit version family. of Brexit. It's not a proper Brexit, Femi. And <laughs> we all know that. Who decides a proper Brexit is? Brexiteers. <laughs> okay, so we're, so we're going to find out. So are there not some Brexit voters who are in favour of the deal? Uh, well, you can call them Brexit voters if you wish, but... Well, well no, they, they would have voted for Brexit. Personally, the people are, are, that vote for my party... The people that vote for my party... Could you answer my question? Are, no, there not, are there not Brexit voters? I don't voters know, Femi, you tell me, because you seem to know there, a lot more about Brexit there, voters than I do. Are there not Brexit voters you who are in favour? You tell me, Femi. You're, you're the Brexit party. Yes, and I'm telling you, okay, in actually, my party, actually, actually, there no, no, aren't. No, no, I, I can actually answer this one, because the Brexit party has put out graphics which say that, I think they said 14% of Brexit voters are in favour of the deal over, over no deal. Now, if that's the case, that means that you've got mm -hmm. less than 16 million people. A, a deal that doesn't chain us to the EU for the rest of our, 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 our history, well, you're yes. Ta you're talking rhetoric. I'm talking what legally did we vote for in 2016? I, I think you're actually EU. talking about roundabout the houses sort of, sort of politics Round, here, Femi. Okay. You're trying to convolute it in a way that doesn't actually that, make Femi? much sense. Again, mm -hmm. under Article 50, mm -hmm. the thing which we triggered in order to leave the EU, it says that upon the entry into force of the withdrawal agreement, mm -hmm. the treaties of the EU no longer apply to the member states in question. Right. That means, legally, under international law, we would have left the EU. However, mm -hmm. 
most Brexit voters do not like that. The Brexit Party has put out graphics to say mm -hmm. that, that, that they do not like that. Nigel Farage has said it's the worst and deal the in history. And the only way we can resolve if, this is to have a general election. Agree or disagree? Or a ref no, a referendum is the way <laughs> to do it. Referendum. Oh. <laughs> would a general election just be on Brexit? Would a general election uh, well, just think, be on Brexit? Well, I think it would be on many different things, but I absolutely there, there think the so fundamental the most, question so the most would be precise, on Brexit. So the, absolutely. Most, so the most precise way of finding out what people mm. actually want is a referendum, is it not? We should have people that represent people. Is we it, should have. Is that not the have Why do you not want to have a referendum? Why does Femi not want to have a general election? Because I, I just explained. Hold on, hold on. Just explained. Why don't you want to because have Because we've already had a referendum and we've seen what the referendum has said. But did it <laughs> say that you can't have another one? Why can we not have more than one? Well, let's have five. Let's have ten. Let's go for it. Let's have fifty. That's just, that's just let's being have one. A bit silly. It's not. Let's it, have really? one. Let's have one every day until we get what we want. You're ask, that uh, that <laughs> argument is that? crazy because you're, you're asking I'm for, sure the, both of you you're asking for the third general election in four years. Uh -huh. I'm asking for a referendum. You literally have no idea which way I voted, by the way. Okay, uh, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm asking <laughs> Which for... Which way do you think I voted? I think you voted for Maine. Do you? Okay, yes. Do you? Yes, I absolutely. Do you? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Shall I tell her I didn't vote or not? Uh, have fun. Uh, <laughs> I didn't okay. vote. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to be able to, in this country, use your vote. You have to be able to use your vote in this country to have a healthy democracy. And maybe I was using my vote by not voting. I'm entitled to do that. I'm also so. an impartial journalist. And so as a result... Do you think I am? I don't think you are, Kane. Okay, no. thanks for joining us on the programme this afternoon. Really appreciate you taking the time. I actually looked at an Ofcom report the other day that suggested that Sky News was the most trusted news service in the country as far as broadcasters were concerned. Just saying.